Hot One. SS-396 versus Pontiac GTO and Ford Fairlane GT. Cars designed for those who like hot performance without sacrificing ride or luxury. First, let's take a close look at overall styling and design. Like the SS-396, both Pontiac GTO and Ford GT have special hood treatment and identification features. The GT is further identified by its lack of wheel opening moldings and body sill moldings. In the rear, like the SS-396, the Pontiac GTO has a recessed rear window. The Ford GT profile shows a definite GM influence, which Ford buyers traditionally rebel against. You have two major design sales advantages here. First, SS-396 total newness. Pontiac GTO has been on the market before, so you have the advantage of totally new styling and totally new excitement. Second, the SS-396 is from one to two inches lower than Pontiac GTO or Ford GT. This gives the 396 that low road-hugging stability that lights up the eyes of sports-minded prospects. And, considering its lower height, the SS-396 compares remarkably well inside with the Pontiac GTO and Ford GT. Headroom on all three is almost identical. The SS-396 looks even better in other interior dimensions. The Pontiac GTO features strato bucket seats, wood inlay instrument panel, passenger assist grip, and a suspended accelerator pedal as standard equipment. As you know, bucket seats are optional on the SS-396. But let's look at what Pontiac GTO buyers will not get. A floor-mounted gear selector is optional at extra cost and is available only with a heavy-duty three-speed transmission. An electric clock and glove box light are also extra cost. A foam cushioned rear seat is not available at any cost. A horn ring is not available for GTO. These items are standard equipment on SS-396. On the Ford GT, bucket seats, console, paddle type door releases, and a suspended accelerator pedal are standard. Those door releases have built-in courtesy warning lights, a styling touch Ford salesman will talk up. But they won't talk up lighted heater controls, two-speed windshield wipers, electric clock, and a foam cushioned rear seat. All these are either extra cost items or are not available on the GT. They're all standard on the SS-396. Now let's check model availability. Pontiac appears to have an advantage with one more model, but that one's simply a two-door sedan with pillars, not really a sport coupe. Anyway, the SS-396 hardtop actually sells for less than the Pontiac pillar job. Also, the Pontiac GTO is over nine inches longer than Ford GT or SS-396. Nine inches more to park and maneuver in city traffic. And the Ford GT is at a disadvantage with its inch longer wheelbase. Ford GT's turning diameter measured curb to curb is 41.5 feet. Pontiac GTO turns in 40.9 feet. And the Chevrolet SS-396 takes the honors at 40.3 feet. On the go side, you have the new Chevrolet 396 cubic inch four barrel V8 with 325 horsepower standard and 360 horsepower optional. Pontiac GTO features a 389 cubic inch four barrel power plant rated at 335 horsepower as its standard engine. Note that the optional GTO engine could be at a disadvantage with its three two barrel carbs, which may require frequent tuning. The Ford GT has a 390 cubic inch, four barrel, 335. Ford offers no optional engine for the GT. Remember, the turbojet 396 is one of the most advanced V8s in the industry, featuring tilted valves and big ports for easy deep breathing. And for its size, this engine is one of the most durable and economical performance engines available today. Next, transmissions. All three of these cars are standard equipped with fully synchronized three-speed manual transmissions. The SS-396 has a heavy duty as standard equipment, available only at extra cost on GTO. In optional transmissions, the 396 matches GTO evenly. What's with Ford? Well, here's the Ford Sport Shift Cruisomatic. A GTE equipped with this option is designated GTA. This transmission can be used either as a fully automatic or a manual transmission a questionable convenience. 
The SS-396 heavy-duty suspension includes extra-large diameter front stabilizer bar, higher-rate springs, stiffer shock absorbers, special ball joints, and a frame reinforcement between the rear upper and lower control arm pivots. All this is standard on the SS-396. Pontiac GTO also has a heavy-duty suspension, only a large diameter stabilizer bar, along with stiffer shocks and springs. Next, the Ford GT's standard heavy-duty suspension includes only higher rate springs and stiffer shocks. But remember, the GT is a Fairlane, which features only front coil springs and a leaf-type rear suspension. And SS-396 offers more brake landing area for more effective stopping. And note that only SS-396 uses the longer-wearing bonded brakes. But who's that trying to get into the picture? The 1966 Ford Mustang? A tough competitor, to be sure, but definitely not in the same league as the SS-396. After all, Mustang's a fun car, and your Corvair Monzas and Corsas offer the ultimate in fun on four wheels. And for the most hot performance for the money, your SS-396 sets a pace that's hard to beat. You can roar away with the honors and the owners.